Huh. It seems she was not prepared enough for this test. Hi, I'm Aaron from Aland, and today we will be talking about common errors that students make in the IELTS listening exam. So let's go. I see students making the same mistakes over and over when preparing for the IELTS listening test. So I have made a list of the top five errors I see. And let's begin with number one. Reading and following the instructions is the most important thing to do in a test. They tell you what to answer and how. If they tell you to read the questions, do it! That will help you figure out what to listen for. If the instructions tell you to answer in no more than two words, then three words will be wrong. Number two should be common sense, but there's a reason it's here. Check your spelling and grammar. This is one of the most common and dangerous mistakes on the IELTS listening exam. People get nervous and they rush through writing their answers, making simple spelling mistakes. Now, how can you avoid this mistake? Slow down. Repeat the words slowly in your mind and double check that the grammar and spelling is correct. Number three, don't leave blank answers. If you don't know the answer, you can make a guess. That is fine. There are two reasons for doing this. A, you don't lose points for wrong answers. And B, if you leave a blank space, you might write the right answer in the wrong place later on. So it's better to guess rather than leaving blanks. For your listening test, you'll receive a test, and an answer sheet. It's very tempting to use both at the same time, but this can get very confusing and can cause distractions and make you lose points. So just write your answers in the test sheet. And remember that at the end, you get 10 minutes to copy all of the answers to your answer sheet and check your answers. The last error you'll see in section one of the IELTS listening test. Speakers often give some inaccurate information before mentioning the right answer. This is called a distractor, and it's used in exams to trick you. So after writing down each answer, make sure the speakers do not change their answer. you go five errors to keep in mind when doing your listening test if you found this video helpful do not forget to like and share it and let us know in the comments what parts of the listening test you have problems with and we'll work on them all in the next IELTS bites goodbye <laughs> <laughs>